Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hello. Hello. Wait. Hello. 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 Hi, how are you? Maybe the hi, how are you? Wasn't music. <laughs> what inspired you to create mood? When anyone would ask us for recommendations for their house, I wouldn't know where to go. You know, the good brands which I liked were just too expensive designer brands. Styles I was looking for, I just could not find it. So we moved into a new house in 2017, and it took me close to five years to get my room together. We were like, if it's taking us so much time, and we have so many good sources, we know what to get from where. What people around us, you know, people who travel, people who see trends, people who are watching for the color of the year, you know, there was no home decor that that made me want to buy it. How would you style your home? Like, what is your aesthetic? What is Giant's room like? What is Thrupp's room like? Hmm. I'm really looking for that feeling. I'm looking for that. If I if I, if I see a vase, or if I see a plant, or if I see a bowl. The feeling that I want that to give me is that that is me. That is an extension of me. If I am not in my room, can a third person come and describe my personality through seeing how I live? So a lot of energy and a lot of time has gone into cutting out or curating what defines me, right? I see that conversely with Jen right now, like he we mentioned, a lot of the leftovers make it into his room, and then I think he'll soon be on his journey of curating. He's graduated from college. So I'm looking for some affordable pieces also. Like you know, a lot of things I like are just way too expensive for me, and it's not it's not very easy for me to get my wish list down right now. So I'm going to do it piece by piece. But now I'm like starting to look forward to doing up my room again, and I'm going to start the process. And I hope like Moonu can also help me do that. Joy discount. Uh, where do you get your products from? My mother and I have been running a sourcing company, uh, which provides home decor to brands abroad for the last fifteen years. Through that journey, we've ended up working with close to two hundred different artisans and factories and workshops across the country. Um, it's been really interesting through this journey finding out which area, or which city specializes in what material. For example, you have Khurja that specializes in ceramics, or Firozabad that specializes in glass, or Muradabad that does really beautiful metal and woodwork. Uh, we even source from Jaipur, from Jodhpur, from South India, from Panipat, from the Northeast. So we have sources across pockets. So depending on the design, depending on the expected outcome, uh, we figure out what's the best place to buy something. We always want to make sure that the money is being used fairly it's going to if it's a factory it's a factory that's socially compliant that has safeguards and mechanisms in place to protect the rights of the workers over there or ideally that the money goes straight to the artisans and that we can actually support um, clusters or units where the artisans are getting paid their actual due because they're the people who are putting their blood and their sweat into creating this beautiful product for us how do you guys like how did you think of your collection and how did you think of the products here we were quite clear with the product we wanted so uh, our aim we could not get a very extensive collection out you know we were we had a bit we had a budget we had to do things in a certain way so we thought why not make our everyday life experiences better so what's the first thing you do you you have water so our first product was two water carafes we launched those we wanted those to come out and then why how what's the easiest way to make your room look prettier without you know painting a wall you can get a very nice flower vase so we launched flower vases in three different colors and drove and I like a really into food you know it's kind of an understatement at 4 o'clock we start planning what to eat for dinner and so dinner we are planning what to eat for breakfast and so then we, and while munching on like some chips with some salsa we realize like damn all the chip and dips we have are so tiny so then we made a tabletop collection with you know with big servers big chip and dips big uh, cheese boards you know big ice buckets like we run out of ice in every party so you know we wanted to make everyday life experiences easier more beautiful and affordable also we didn't want people we don't we didn't want to burn like pockets over here right like you don't have to afford a mono product you should go in with a smile buy it and make your everyday life better